Negro Drama by Rasinus. Damn. I'm so good. You know, it's so crazy to me how, like, in the States, an artist can be this big. He pulled out. This is like a basketball game arena he pulled he pulled out for them to just come hear him rap. But in the States, not a lot of people have heard of him. It's crazy to me. He's older, OG. Mm. Okay. You starting like that? Malcolm? Hey, he got the hood. They give you like a bone thugs and harmony like a Brazilian bone thugs and then it's like you you it's crazy to me how like if you just look at the world in America we have a a a, a huge racial issue in like if you look historically if you know about like the hoodsies and tootsies if you if you look into Latin America with uh, Afro Latinos opposed to the people without any African descent you always see that there's a division drawn that humans make and I don't know whether it's just like inherently in us or we have just been taught or carry such an evil speech or if spirit of hatred and just and 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 like you know what I mean and judgmentalness I wonder how how could the sins of so many people happen in different places at different times <laughs> Oh no, and and this is you could tell they're OGs because like what they're saying is incredibly brilliant. And like I hate the the idea that rappers are stupid or something. Listen to what he's saying since the beginning, since it's, it's, it's gold and silver. When when you know, I think let's be honest, the problem be money. The problem be is some of us in this world believe that there's a finite amount of resources and all these these things behind money and capitalism and just, you know, all these things that come behind it, those be the biggest evils, you know what I'm saying? Not saying money is evil, but like what people will are willing to do for money is evil. See him poor arrested, that's culture. Man, man, man. That's that's the culture now, man. And and it would sound like a myth, right? And when I when I have to explain to my white friends that as a black person in America, you deal with racism every single day. It's just it happens on a a scale. Sometimes these do some stuff where it's just like, ah, oh, that was sort of racist. Sometimes people do stuff where it's like, whoo, that was racist. But we've learned that you don't want to overdo it. You can't say everything's right. I can't tell you that every time I go into the store, they follow me because I'm black, even though 100% that is why they follow me to the store. Baby, look at how I'm dressed. Look how I look. Look how I walked in. What else would it, it would make you believe I'm stealing from the dollar store besides, you know, other than my race? That's why you're profiling me in that way. But 
we can't even say it because t- you're not going to believe it. You're not going to, they're not going to be able to fathom it until you watch them cracking Rodney King's head across the street like a coconut. Do you watch them choking out George Floyd? Then you will understand why as a black person, we turn our music down when we're in the car. Then you will understand as a person in this situation, why we walk around with such an inherent fear of these people because it is life or death because we're being stereotyped and we're being stereotyped by the worst, by the worst of our activities, by the worst of us, by the worst of our behaviors, by the worst of our decisions. That's that's how it is. I'm an example of yeah. Young niggas making it. People making it out of the struggle. People not falling victim to this system. He's an example. He says. Like, you know, the same way we looking up to, like, the drug dealers and all them motherfuckers, you can look up to me. The, as much as they want to paint our history as that's all we ever did, we did a lot more. We were poets. And you know this is such a good song because this is, like, I can relate to this on such a, like, real level. And we're not even from the same country. He's not talking about American racism, but uh, we all, it, it's a drama being a nigga. <laughs> And that's real. A lot of us, you know, a lot of us niggas, is, it, we learn how to be warriors. We learn how to don't cry. If something happens to you, you don't go call the police. The police aren't for you. For you. you don't deserve protection. You're not worthy of protection. You got to go handle that on your own. You know what I'm saying? We taught to be warriors in this motherfucker. And, and, and it's crazy how somebody from, like, bro, if this was put in English and put out here, this would be apply here just as well. And he tells his brothers, man, don't die, but at the, at the same time, don't kill. You know what I mean? You can't ask what you don't do. Pop! And that's that's so powerful. The the positive images of of black men that is so powerful. Descendants of slaves who have made no right to. Indemnification. Indemnification. Hey Siri, what does identification mean? The action or process of identifying someone or something in. Oh, he snapped! Oh, he snapped! What? A woman holding her her son inside a concrete jungle. Talking about a prison. It should be a movie. This shit shouldn't be real. Oh, 
Os carros é bonito se grande eu sei fazer Internet, vídeo cassete Os carros rolou em quatro You can, hey, you can tell these niggas is old He said I don't know how to do internet O cinto, eu bato só que tem que Já jogo é sujo e eu não me caixa Eu sou problema de montão de carnaval A carnaval não fica só Eu sou leão, vou de barco Se eu ficar problema com o escala Eu tenho um mil I'm from the jungle, I'm a lion. I'm too much for you, bro. These same, these same tragic situations that I, Niz had to survive through made him stronger. That's fast. And let's be strong. Oh yeah, he might he's my favorite. He's what's his name? He's my favorite. He said, man, as much as you demonize and all that stuff, your kids wanna be like us. Most popular culture in the world, like hip hop. Yeah, we're, we're kicking ass right now, taking names. Um, you know, they said they didn't want to give Fifty Cent Grammys because giving them Grammys would make their their kids. Those people handing out the Grammys are scared. Scared if Fifty Cent gets that Grammy, it'll validate him, and then their kids will grow up to be like Fifty Cent. But you have no problem consuming Fifty Cent, helping Fifty Cent become Fifty Cent, forcing Fifty Cent to be Fifty Cent because of this world. But you would never want your kid to be him. Let's be real. But yeah, he finds it and he sees it. And it's it's beautiful because we've learned to make you fall in love with our pain. We've learned how to make you feel us. Because for so long we felt unfelt. And so through avenues we took, we, we, we allowed the world to feel us. And it's hard, bro. It's hard to act like you don't feel the impact of hip-hop. Common common language english language has changed because of hip-hop there's certain words we use as common vernacular that are not actually traditional english words it's some hip-hop shit <laughs> You ain't gonna pass when them Red Seas open. You ain't going to the promised land. Ooh, that was a certified vibe check. Now here comes another reaction by Mary Hair. Bing music video by me right there. Bow. Click on it. Show me some love. You watch the video as long as you ain't hit that thumbs up button. You're a host. Stop being a ho. KBD family. Love y'all. Salute. I am gone.